Hey y'all, it's Michelle and I'm here to do a quick live training on the beauty of having nothing to prove in life and or in business. And I'll tell you why this applies to business. A lot of our Women Who Wow members, we've got strong personality and strong drive. Uh, we might not be everybody's cup of tea, right? And a lot of us, if we were to, to be honest, we want to make a living being us, right? We want to be able to show up entirely authentic to our market, right? We want to be embraced for who we really are. We don't want to phone it in anymore. We don't want to rein ourselves in. And there's some beauty in that, right? There's some real beauty and joy and profit in being able to show up completely authentically and being un tethered to the court of public opinion, which by the way is always changing, right? It's always changing. Um, we want to be paid for our passion. We want to be paid for sort of um, being ourselves. And what I'm going to share with you is so incredibly simple and it will change everything in your business if you embrace it. It will take a habit. I'm not going to lie, you know, I have been very blessed to be um, sort of born without the whatever you would call that um, desire to figure out what people think of me or, um, or, or put a lot of thought into that. Um, I was born to parents who truly empowered me from day one. I get that. Um, it does not take away what I want to share with you is a habit that you might need to shift in your life if you too want to really show up and have nothing to prove. If you can imagine the freedom that that gives you in your business, if you can imagine the joy that it brings you in your business to truly not try to win anyone over not try to prove yourself worthy, not try to prove yourself um, good enough. Like if you could just abandon that one day, you can imagine the benefit to your business, to your bottom line, but also to the happiness and the joy that you have in life as a business owner. The truth is we've got a lot of things to worry about as business owners, right? And uh, we don't have many people to blame <laughs> because we are at the helm. And so if we're complicating our business by always trying to prove ourselves this way or another way or whatever, then it's just a burden that we honestly don't have to, um, to bear. The benefit of dropping all of this is that your business becomes much more authentic, much more aligned, much more in flow, sort of you start to attract your best possible tribe, like the people who get you. And even if they disagree with you, there's a there's a heart connection there. And I think that's what a lot of us want. And there is a real key here to dropping that I've got to prove myself this, I got to work my way into this, I got to do that. And so we're going to talk about this. But there's a few things that really, really uh, speak to me, like a few different, um, you know, song lyrics and stuff like that. And I remember growing up, you know, I graduated high school in 1994. And um, just in case anyone forgot, uh, being country strong, like now it's like hash, hashtag country strong. Being country strong wasn't cool um, until I went to college, right? And when I was in college, all of a sudden I saw these girls like putting on their cowboy boots and they'd sing their Shania Twain. And it was so funny because it was a total... Um, it was different than what I grew up as, right? Like I know, I know um, how to go into the marsh and, and come out with mistletoe, and I, I, you know, know how to skin a deer, and I know uh, what the term "feed up" means, right? But they would wear their cowgirl boots and they'd sing Shania Twain, and in my head, I'd be thinking. You know, wearing those cow cowgirl boots doesn't make you country, right? But it was this like it was um, it was the first time I remember thinking actively about how people were tr showing up different than how they were, and I remember like kind of laughing to myself because Shania Twain, Twain would come on like a Canadian, right? And everybody would would be all countryfied, and uh, but then when um, Kenny Rogers, the gambler, came on, all those girls left the stage. They didn't know any of those lyrics, but um, a few things that you know I remember talking to my husband we have I have Alabama it's I love the group Alabama 
on my phone I was listening to this song born country and one of the song lyrics is I was born country it says I've got a hundred years of down home running through my veins I was born country and this um, country is what I love or something like that but anyway and so my husband's listening to that and he goes oh my god he's like that's a lot to overcome because I do have a hundred years of country running through my blood and and I'm thinking like overcome what are you talking about right I totally embrace this and I want to um, give you some words of Janis Joplin which I have kind of turned around and then I'm going to get into the bare bottom, no fluff, one change you need to make to be completely untethered to the court of public opinion, to never again have to prove anything. It's literally one commitment that you need to make. And, um, but before I do that, I want to give you the words of, of Janice Joplin. You know that song, um, Free to another, um, I know I love Janice Joplin. It's my biggest regret of my life is not being alive to see Janis Joplin. I just think she would have lit the stage on fire. Like I just, I really hate that. But, um, in one of her songs, she says, freedom's just another way to say nothing left to lose. And I want to kind of do a spin on that. And it's like, freedom's just another way to say nothing left to prove, right? So if you want to have nothing left to prove, I want you to consider this one Bible verse that people say is a commandment and maybe so I'm not going there but I think it's just a truth it's just a principle right and here's what it says it says love others as you love yourself now that's like the second commandment or something but the the real thing is is that when you th there is no way to separate this right the principle is you will always others as you love yourself this is why if you are in relationships and people always think you're harsh with them if people think that you're judgmental of them if people think that you are nitpicking with them 